Hello students, welcome to Edcrest and today we are shooting this video for uh, MYP4 guys on their request for coordinate geometry, okay? I think their exams are nearby and they have requested me to make a video on coordinate geometry, okay? So when we talk about coordinate geometry, we talk about points, correct? So see, there are two chapters, coordinate geometry and straight line, okay? So straight line, you can only do first, you know, about the coordinates and its geometry. Okay. So it's very important to understand coordinate geometry. So when we talk about coordinate geometry, we talk about points, correct? So any point in 2D shape, for example, X, Y axis, anything which we draw in the, this plane of the paper, it is in X, Y axis, correct? So any point, such point, which we draw in X, Y plane can be denoted by X comma Y, any point, correct? Whether it is on X axis, on Y axis, at origin, anywhere, correct? On this plane, okay? It is denoted by X comma Y, where X is known as apsica and Y is known as ordinate, okay? These are just terms, okay? A X is apsica and Y is ordinate, okay? Now let's see, okay? So this horizontal line is my X axis, this vertical line is my Y axis, okay? Now you know that if you want to plot any number, it will be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. You can scale it. Similarly, this side will be, this is origin. This is known as 0. Okay, here x is 0. And as you go right, the number become positive. You increase it. And as you go back of 0, it means negative x-axis. The points here will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. Okay, you keep going back. Okay. So first question, is it necessary to every time write 1, 2, 3? No. I mean, that depends upon your scale. Okay. You can write 2, 4, 6, 8. You can write 5, 10, 15. But there should be like prop. If this you are taking this gap as 5, the first gap as 5, then every gap, the same gap you have to take at a difference of 5. Okay. That you need to maintain. And on the left hand side also, you have to do the same thing. Okay. So scaling something which you have to take care of. Okay. It's not necessary that you do write 1, 2, 3, 4 only. You can write 5, 10 or 10, 20. If they are like bigger numbers, you can write like 100, 200, 300 also. Okay. Similarly on Y axis also scaling is done the similar way like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 6, minus 5, minus 6. Correct. And so on. Correct. So that depends upon. Now, any point in this plane, in this x, y plane is denoted by x, comma, y, okay? And in this plane, we will first of all find out how many regions are there, okay? In this x, y plane. So, this is my first region, which I call as first quadrant, okay? And I go anti-clockwise and I say this is my second quadrant, this is my third quadrant, and this is my fourth quadrant, correct? Okay? So, these are the four regions where any point can lie. Apart from this, there are two more places, correct? Suppose any point lie on X axis. So it will neither be in the first quadrant or fourth quadrant, correct? So where it will be? So we'll see that it lies on X axis, correct? So either your point can lie on first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant, or your point can lie on X axis or Y axis, correct? So these are the six places where any of the point X comma Y can lie in this plane of the paper. Make sense? Wherever this x axis and y axis intersect, that point is known as origin, which is 0, 0. Here x is also 0, y is also 0, which we call it as origin. Okay? Now, any point I said as represented by x, y, so suppose if I am saying that here my x will be positive, my y will also be positive. You can see that this quadrant, this region, my x is positive, y is positive, correct? When you talk about the second quadrant, my x definitely you can see it's negative and y you can see it's positive, correct? Similarly, in the third region, my x is negative, y is negative. So this is the region for it, okay? x negative, y negative. And this region, x is positive and y is negative, okay? So in this way, any point which is there, you can easily identify on which quadrant it lies. Sir, it's necessary will it line all the quadrants? Uh, in any one of the quadrants? No. Suppose there is a point known as A comma 0. Correct? So understand, at x axis, the value of y here is 0. So at all these points, the value of y is 0. So any coordinate where y is 0, that will lie on x axis. For example, if I say this point, so I can name this point as 5 comma 0. 
or a comma zero where a can be a positive number negative number correct if it is positive number a it will be on the positive x-axis if it is negative number it will be on the negative side of the x-axis correct but y will always be zero okay now this is very important okay sometimes they ask question in in such a tricky way that uh, you have to take this point as a comma zero or x comma zero or b c d any any variable comma zero the point is that this this part of the ordinate should be zero the y part should be zero okay because if you take x comma y instead of zero if you take y you land into trouble while solving it correct similarly when you solve this part it should be zero comma b why zero because at y axis x is always zero see x is zero here as it goes up down anywhere x is zero so x will be zero y can be b b can be positive number negative number if it is positive it will be up negative below zero make sense so this is most important okay so i just round it so that you can understand that taking this points is very important okay and this point as i have said it is origin make sense guys so this is any quadrant how to identify any points lie on which quadrant i'll quickly give some example and i'll say for example if i say 2 comma 4 you know both are numbers and both are positive numbers when both are positive numbers i'll say it is lying in the first quadrant okay similarly if i say 5 comma 0 i can clearly see that my y coordinate my y part is 0 coordinate is 0 which clearly means that it lies on x axis and positive x axis correct because x is positive but that's okay you can just write x axis it lies on x axis correct now if i say that 3 comma minus 3 where does it lie so 3 is positive minus 3 is negative so it lies on the fourth quadrant so i can write it lies on the fourth quadrant okay suppose if i say uh, 0 comma minus 3 where does it lie so your x part is 0 y part is have some numbers it's not 0 okay so it lies on y axis Right? So it's very easy to identify where does this point lies. Okay. Hope this makes sense guys. Okay. See you.